I loved art all my life. Art turns me on. And I started painting probably when I was 30, 32 years old. I never took any formal classes. I just went to a lot of museums and art galleries and different things and saw things and said, wow, I could, I could do that. But it really turned me on about you know, what I saw with the colors. See, color turns me on. I mean, black and white. I was, I, I was originally a black and white guy. And that turned me on, two different colors. The contrast of the colors turned me on. So even today, it's, it's not so much the color, but the contrast, the other color you put with it that makes it, pops you and say, wow, that really wants it together, you know, it makes you, get you excited about it. I just like it, I haven't sold any of it. I've given it to friends to use, have in their home. You know, I'm in a restaurant business and I create stuff that uh, have it, hasn't been there before. My restaurants are one of a kind, my art is one of a kind. When I'm not doing restaurants, I paint. All my life I've been working with acrylics. And I met uh, J.D. Miller, who showed me, hey, you know, oil has much more different properties and does this and does that. So he showed me, he showed me, and he taught me, he mentored me some here, and wow, I mean, I just fell in love with oils. Life, I've always tried to make a big statement. You know, if you're going to say something, you know, say it loud, say it big, and everybody listens and everybody sees it. So my art is big. I do a lot of big cameras. When I see a big piece of art, I go, "Wow, yo, that's that just something excites me about it." It's like a if, a if a little bit is good, a lot more is going to be even better. I met J.D at uh, Nick and Sands at my restaurant. And saw his art, he explained to me what he was trying to accomplish and what he was doing. He talked about the reflectionist movement. And he said that um, it's something like the impressionist that was out there a long time ago, but it's today's reflection of what life is about today. So, you know, I kind of liked that feeling and, and liked what he was trying to say, because that's what, what I do, but I didn't really know how, what to call it or what to say about it. So it's a movement that I think is gonna be a very popular. You know, what I like about this reflectionist movement is the fact that it has depth. It shows depth. It's got texture to it, it's got depth and color. People see it, all of a sudden they start naming something after it. You know, all of a sudden it becomes a, a brand, if so, and it, and it becomes a movement. I collect art, and what I do is, when I buy art, I want to meet the artist. And I, I want to like the guy, and I like, want to like the person, and understand the person whose art I'm going to have in my home. Because I think on a canvas you put your feelings, you put yourself into it, it has vibrations, and they, they come off. You know, I feel that, and I want to understand the person that did that. I don't want an evil person's art in my home. I want good, positive, nice vibes. Consequently, what I'm going to do with my art is I like to meet everybody that's going to buy a piece of my art because it came from me. 
I want to make sure it has a, a good home. I spent a lot of time with my dad. I was very close to him. He used to tell me some things that I lived by. He used to tell me, Sonny, I don't care what you become or what you, what you end up being in life. That's your choice. But only one stipulation I'm going to put on you. Whatever you do, whatever you become, be the very best at it. Because I don't care if you're a bum. Be the world's greatest bum. Be famous. What's satisfying about making art is the fact that I'm creating something that's never been before. It's never existed before. It's only one of a kind. I mean, I'm an entrepreneur. And I think the main thing an entrepreneur wants to do is make people happy. That's why he's successful. And that's what I've done all my life. I made him happy with my restaurants, my food. I do things because, because I want to make people happy. I'm not going to need a tombstone. I'm going to have pieces of my art around so people can look at that and I'm going to leave something behind. So I'm going to kind of live after, uh, you know, but in my art. <laughs>